Hello, it has been a while. I'm Noreen Burke, and believe it or not, on this channel, I usually do organizing, decluttering, upcycles, and anything crafty, but it feels like lately all I've done is talk about how this year has been a total wow. I'll give you life updates at the end, but today I want to bring you some Dollar Tree easy to do DIYs for gift giving with items that I promise you can find at the dollar store. Let's go. So I love doing crafting and this year has been quite the challenge for me because there's been so much going on. And while I would love to bring you an easy DIY that I'm gonna show you, Instead, I'm gonna bring you some of my favorite ideas that I promise are so self-explanatory that this is just gonna be the inspiration to get you excited, run to your dollar store and get the necessary items. Starting with this easy to find item. The tumbling tower game, also called Jenga, is an item that you can almost always find at the 99 cent store, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and when you find them, get them. They are such easy pieces of wood that will transform into year-round project items. With just a little bit of glue and your creativity, you can turn these into so many different ornaments, gift tags, and what I like about these is you can really make them as simple just using one or put them together like these beautiful nativity ornaments. But making them little stocking tags is such a cute idea and it's not hard to distress them add some embellishments and put a little tag on the back. The reason I love these is they're so affordable. I think you get 60 of those little blocks out of the box. Depending upon what you're making, this is such an affordable item. If you're only using one block with a beautiful word or statement and then having twine around it, that is such an affordable gift. So. Get these when you see them, let those creative juices flow. You can easily get more ideas on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, even Google search. So grab them and let me know what you make out of these. Another item that's super easy to find at the Dollar Tree are paint brushes. I loved this idea because oftentimes, even at other places like Walmart, you can get a whole bag of brushes and look how cute these little Santa or if you wanna get creative, you can make them into gnomes. But this is such a fun little gag gift, neighbor gift, coworker gift. You could turn these into magnets, ornaments, or once again, embellish a package. And paint brushes are so easy to find. The next item I'm gonna talk about are these candles. I have seen these at the Dollar Tree year round. Certain times of year, they do have the different colors and scents, but I always see the plain white ones. If you combine this with a vinyl that they're selling in the Crafter Square or you have your Cricut vinyl, you can get really creative and cut out beautiful embellishments for these. But you don't have to have a Cricut. You can fussy cut these, you can use stickers and spell out names, you can even paint things on, or you can even just get the printed vinyl, put a strip around it with a little tag and some floral embellishments, and that alone would make such a beautiful gift to give or a way to decorate your home for the holidays. Now this next item is something that is only during the holidays, but I promise you can find these everywhere. And that is using a gift bag to create decor. Now we've all seen people cut out a pretty picture from a bag and frame it, but I'm suggesting you take it up just a notch with some of those battery operated or short strand plug-in lights by adding the lights through the bag, you can really elevate the look. By framing it in a deeper frame, you can also add in three-dimensional items to really take this up a notch. I think this would be so beautiful on a wall, especially if you got a trio of words or images. I can't wait to see what you guys do with these, but this is probably one of my favorite ideas and it's so affordable. This last item, I admit, I've only seen at the Dollar Tree a few times. The last time I saw them, I grabbed all that they had. Maybe that's why they didn't have any more. But if you don't find them at the Dollar Tree, you can definitely find them at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, or any store that you get your holiday crafting items. And that is these ornaments that you put 
together. The idea here is to print any item that you want on a computer. There's so many images that you can get from the internet. You can also find beautiful images from magazines or books, but by placing half of it on the photo, you're creating a snow globe three-dimensional image that is so much fun. Again, by adding snow inside or some of those small things that you can get for the Christmas villages, you can really elevate the look of this. One of my favorite ideas here is creating the countdown calendar. If you've watched me before, you know I love these. For this idea, you would simply only attach the bottom, leaving the top so that you could slip in the next day and count down for whatever item that you're celebrating. I think this one is such a cute idea. And again, by grabbing one of those ornaments that come apart, you're actually creating two of these gift items. Which of these was your favorite or what item have you picked up from the Dollar Tree to turn into gifts? Let me know in the comments below. If you've stuck around this much and are interested, the updates that I have, the last time I spoke with you, I was rapidly getting ready for a wedding. I got to get married to my very best friend. It was an amazing, amazing ceremony. We only had a few people there. Um, his daughter was a minister. She got her ordained license online and married us, which was incredibly special. My daughters were there. Uh, my dad walked me down the mini aisle. Again, this was the tiniest little wedding ever, but I did get to have my dad there. He was healthy enough to join us. We had a few other very special people with this, but it was the perfect day. Some of you have sent wedding cards and I appreciate it so, so much. Um, we did make little centerpieces and I wanted to show you how I made them, but it just never happened. I had so much going on, but I ended up having all of this extra wood uh, that was laying around and I built this based on just wood that I had. So I just chopped this down. At the end of summer, I found these little uh, floral arrangements that were at the 99 cent store and they were clearance down to a quarter a piece. So I bought 10 of them, ripped them apart, put together new things. These little bags were the actual uh, vase that the styrofoam was shoved into. So I dismantled that. The only thing I had to buy was the ribbon and the stain. So my centerpieces were under a dollar a piece, I think, to make, which just tickled me pink. And then we did a little bingo game at the ceremony because his family and my family hadn't really met before. So I thought it would be fun to do a what do you know about Jay and what do you know about Noreen trivia game. And then as people got bingo, they got to take the centerpieces home. So that was, it was really it. It was a very simple, small, but beautiful wedding. It was exactly what he and I wanted. So I don't have a lot to share with you other than what I've only shown you. For those who sent wedding cards, thank you so much. I hadn't checked my mailbox since the end of September. So I apologize for not answering some of you sooner, but Luba, you are the most amazing person. Luba sends me a card almost every month and it means the world to me when I see hers and I always feel so badly that I haven't answered back. So one of my New Year's resolutions is to get back on track with my friend mail, but also to go ahead and start getting a scheduled routine for getting my YouTube videos up. We have been painting the house, redoing floors, building cabinets, trying to declutter, bringing two households together. Boy, have I been using my own advice on how to not get overwhelmed and how to just do one small thing at a time. So I do have lots of things to film for you and to get edited and show you but I'm going to enjoy the holidays with his family, my family as a blended family for the first time. I will try and get up one more video for the end of this year, but then you guys are gonna see a ton of me going into the new year. So I hope this video finds you healthy, happy, and thank you for watching all the way to now and for checking back in with me. Happy holidays, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.